Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. In this video, we are going to look at an Excel formula that would extract the postcode from a UK address. Now, I've got some example addresses on screen, and I want to imagine that this is quite a large list and that the addresses change regularly. This is happening a lot. So I want a formula so that I get an automated solution to this. Now, one problem with UK addresses that you don't necessarily get uh, with, for example, zip codes in the US is how irregular they are. And I've picked three, address, uh, three postcodes here to demonstrate that. So I've got here that there's kind of seven characters in it. And here we've got the uh, eight characters in there including the space and down here there's just the six so they're completely changing in length and because they're at the end of the address the starting position of it is also changing so that can create its problems now I've already written the formula here and I've written it in cell B2 so if I open that up on screen for us it's quite a scary formula for some you know, depending on what you've done before, this may be quite a big jump. But I'll tell you one thing, it looks a lot worse than it is. So what I want to do in this video is explain my plan and then to write this bit by bit so that you can see it put together. Now the formula itself, I'm going to provide uh, via a link in the description of this video. So if you need this kind of stuff or if you want to play around with it, then feel free to click that link, go grab that formula and use it for whatever you wish. Whether you require it in, in your Excel work or whether you just want to use it for learning. But let, for the rest of this video, let me just break this down and explain each bit. Now, first of all, the plan looking at this address is I wanted to identify the starting position of the postcode. Because what I want to do here is I want to use the write function. Now, if I just start this new attempt in the next column here, and let me show you that I could write a write function, which will extract characters from the end of a cell. I could ask it to use cell A2, and it will then prompt me for how many characters, and I could tell it to take seven characters. And if I use that, that will work absolutely fine on that postcode. But it's only going to ever take the last seven. So when we copy it down, it doesn't quite work for the others. So what I need to do is identify where the postcode begins. If I can do that, when the write function asks how many characters are there, I'm gonna subtract the total characters from the position of that mark and that should indicate how many characters of that string of that cell are the postcode that is the plan now to find that position before the postcode that is the penultimate space so you can see going for the end of the cell there's a space in between like in the middle of the postcode and the one before the postcode is the one before that so if i can find that area then i've got myself the length of that postcode that is the plan. So let me go back to my formula where I have the right function. And I'm going to begin where I have this kind of A2 here. I'm going to change that up. Now let me do this in a different cell again, just to explain or maybe better explain exactly what's going on here. I'm going to use the len function. Now len stands for length here. And if I use the len function on A2, that's going to tell me how many characters there are in that cell. Now what I want to do is subtract from that the amount of characters. So I'm going to bring in the len function. But I want to subtract the number of characters without spaces. Now I'm going to use a function called substitute for this. Now I'm going through this quite quick for explanation. Remember the formula is in an available via link in the description of this video. Now I'm being prompted for the text, that is cell A2. I've been prompted for the old text, which I'm going to specify as a space. And then the new text, I'm going to say nothing. 
close bracket on substitute, close bracket on len. And what this is doing for me, this function, is it's just telling me how many spaces there are. If I subtract, you know, from the total characters, you know, the number of characters without a space, that would give away how many spaces there are. Now, once I know that, you know, by taking one off that figure, then I found the penultimate space. That is the position of the penultimate space. That's what I've just kind of identified there. So let me look back at this. That says five. One, two, three, four, five. Next one, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That is it. That is the position before the postcode. Now what I want to do is put a marker there so that the rest of the formula can use that. So back to the formula I've started writing here. I'm going to add in the substitute function again. And I'm going to ask it to look at cell A2. Comma, the old text will be a space. The new text, I'm going to put in an asterisk. You can use any kind of marker here, but I'm going to use something unique, and an asterisk will suffice. And it then does this brilliant prompt for the instance number, the instance of the space, the old piece of text. That is so useful in many scenarios like this. Brilliant function substitute. And right now, that len, take away len, minus one, the one that finds the penultimate space is the answer to that question. I can now put a closed bracket on the end of that. And what it returns, what it calculates, is it gets the address, but with that asterisk as a marker. Now I've got my marker. Now that function that I just wrote there, I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to use this in the right function. So instead of A2, I'm going to provide it with the occurrence with the asterisk. So now I'm on this question, how many characters is the postcode? Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in a len function that counts um, A2. And I'm going to subtract from that the position of the asterisk. Now I'm going to use a find function. This will return the position of something. I'm going to ask it to find a asterisk. It's going to ask me where. And I'm going to provide it with that formula that I wrote in D2 just a few moments ago. This whole substitute I'm going to copy. And I'm going to paste it into there. And that is what I was saying. This formula looks a lot worse than what it is. Because I know that a large chunk of it is just the same thing twice. It's duplicated. Now I can put my closing bracket on that. And I believe we are done. If I press enter and copy down. We are done. That is the formula that I had written. Now, I know it is quite overwhelming. It's quite a large formula. Some of you watching this might not find it too bad, depending on what you've done before. For some of you, it might be very, very overwhelming. So I've tried to explain it the best I can um, by writing it out in front of you bit by bit. I say this big chunk here is what's been duplicated twice. The same thing is over here. But as we saw, this produces a version of the address with an asterisk before the postcode and this does the number of characters in that cell take away the position of the asterisk that penultimate space that tells it how many characters are in the postcode and then the right function takes that amount of characters from the end of the string and it works a dream as you can see here assuming your uk address is are structured in this way, which is a very typical way to see them. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Please check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergargard.com.